Hey, what's up, guys? Benny Adams here with Hollywood Junkie. I am super stoked today because I got this guy, Keita Burns, with me. He is something special. Not only is he on this new movie called Howard High, but also he is he was uh, America's favorite dancer on So You Think You Can Dance. Pretty cool, I must say. Um, but we're talking about Howard High. Howard High premieres February 4th, and it's a Black History Month, so what a perfect way to premiere this awesome movie. How's it going, man? How are you? Man, I'm good, man. Uh, <laughs> it's super dope because I'm in the movie again. So it's like, okay, this is pretty far. I'm back. I'm back. I think I'm back in that, in, in that room. <laughs> but, man, this movie is, is, is super dope in so many ways. Uh, it's definitely going to um spread light on on a lot of positivity as far as you know when when your back is against the wall you know what i mean sometimes we can't make ends meet sometimes when it's like you feel like giving up you gotta fight and, and push yourself or what's yours so um this movie is actually basically just around just high school kids who can sing who can act who can dance who can who can do it all you know what i mean and and we're at risk of losing our school so it's like okay what are we going to do to get this back how are we going to get this back there has to be a way, you know what I mean? And, and, and we all put our heads together. We make these songs, we make the choreography, and we have to actually compete against our arch rivals to be able to win this money to then open up a new one. So this 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 movie is definitely going to inspire a lot of people because this this actually correlates like with real life as well. Like, you know what I mean? Sometimes things don't go your way, but when you keep when you keep yourself in the right state of mind, it's okay, I'm going to be positive. I'm going to push myself in any way, it, it, it can definitely be a positive on that side. So this is going to definitely inspire so many people of all ages. I'm, I was inspired shooting it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It just made me feel like, okay, this is this is what people need to see. And what what better way than to do it on, in, in Black History Month? So it's definitely going to be super dope. I can't wait for everybody to see it. So, yeah. Well, and I love how you mentioned that, you know, this movie correlates with real life because I wanted to ask you, you know, does, do you have any personal experiences that you saw in the script when you first saw the script? Man, that's a lot, especially in the early stages of my career. Like there were times where, um, like my mom made so many sacrifices just as far as me becoming a dancer, you know what I mean? Especially like when you, hearing that your kid wants to dance <laughs> that's not a huge outlet you know what I mean so it's like okay a lot of parents sometimes don't even support that you know what I mean but my mom and my dad man took it upon themselves to actually make a way for me like there was a time where I was like six years old and uh, my mom was trying to put us in dance classes we didn't have enough money and the studio told us okay if you clean our studio for x amount of days out the week I will let your kids take class free and she did wow. that every day and it was it's just those sacrifices to where like you can you can make a way of any moment no matter how down you are no matter where you are in life like this definitely is going to be an eye opener for a lot of people you know what i mean because people actually go through these things in real life so this movie is definitely super dope working with a lot of super dope people um marcus houston legend um keith sweat legend like this this movie starts at it for sure and i can't wait for people to check this out yeah, and you, you've worked, you're working with some amazing people, like you just said, Marcus Houston, mm -hmm. amazing dancer, amazing singer. Mm -hmm. What, um, you're an amazing dancer as well. You're an awesome dancer. What did you choreograph in the movie? It's super dope because I actually co-choreographed a lot of the, uh, a lot of the choreography. So it was, it was, um, it was almost like second age for me because I'm used to choreographing. I'm used to teaching classes. So it was super dope for them to bring me on and kind of, kind of get my view on 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 the dancing side and alongside with Chuck and, and Black, super dope choreographers, um, heavyweights in the game. And um it was it, it, it was crazy to be able to take knowledge from each and every one of them because they're both amazing. So it was like, okay, this is me, I'm me, you're Chuck, you're black. You guys are amazing in, in your ways and I'm good in my way. Let's let's create magic, you know what I mean? It's all together because we're all different, you know what I mean? And I know they've done so much in the industry and, and I've done a lot here. So once we came together, man, it was it was so natural. It was a natural vibe for us to just create. And it's super dope. Like as far as working with them, uh, putting the choreography on the other dancers and, and, and making everything just come to life on camera. It was it was super dope for sure. 
I love that, man. And you, you've always choreographed. You've always choreographed, which I love that. And this isn't your first time speaking with Hollywood Junkets. So I want to know since um, that is last so spoken, crazy. That's so crazy. Because when I seen who I was doing this with, I'm like, Hollywood Junkie looks so familiar. <laughs> that was familiar. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy you said that <laughs> well and i'm so glad we have you back man but i gotta know so since um you've last spoken with hollywood junket what are some of your favorite projects that you've choreographed and who are some of the favorite your favorite people that you've worked with man that's that's a really good question because whew, i've actually worked with a lot of people and it's it's so dope because it, it's, it's really cool to see that a lot of these artists or celebrities Trust me, you know what I mean? Trust my mind, mm -hmm. trust my vision with this, especially I, I just turned 19, I'm going to turn 20. And it's like, I've done all this before the age of turning 18. So it's like, just to see that level of confidence they have in me at a, at 17 years old is, is, is surreal. But man, there's a lot of stuff that I've spoken to that, that I spoke that came to life. Like my favorite artists are the Migos. <laughs> like literally, like I know every song, every album, like that's me. And it's like, they re actually reached out to me. And, and, I got to perform with Offset, and it was just crazy. Wow. That was a really dope moment for me. Um, I got to I got to choreograph Justin Bieber's whole music video to uh, come around me. So that was super dope. Um, um, man, Chris Brown, super dope human being. Got to choreograph for him. Um, Usher, super dope. I mean, it's a, it's a lot of stuff that I've done that to where it's like okay. I feel like I'm definitely doing something right and I deserve to be here. So it's definitely been an honor and it's a blessing to be able to work with such amazing artists, especially artists that I look up to. So, yeah. That's so awesome, man. And just think this is only the beginning for you. Cause so I can right. only imagine, you know, what else is in store for you in the future. So I'm, I'm so happy for you and just hearing you list all of these accomplishments. That's amazing. Appreciate Going back it. to the movie, I I get some Glee vibes, which I really love. And I really love yeah. that because, you know, this is a, you know, this is a, a Black empowerment type of movie. And I love that, you know, we're getting this movie on the radar. Um, so can you describe, how would you describe this movie? Um, man, this movie is, Howard High is very, I would start out by saying Howard Hyde is very pushing. You know what I mean? It's going to push you to want to even just get up. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. especially we're just kids. We're literally just kids who just want to have fun. We are, we all goofy. We all playing around. But it's like, it's that switch. You know what I mean? It's that switch to where, how are you, how, how are you going to be able to overcome these humps? You know what I mean? How are you going right. to be able to, to push yourself when, when things are hard? You know what I mean? So it's definitely, gonna open a lot of eyes and it's gonna inspire a lot of people and it's gonna inspire all ages that's what i will say because everybody it's, it's affecting everybody it's not like these things are just you know <laughs> just regular like it's just like it, it comes and it, it depends on how you handle it you know what i mean so this is definitely like this like i said it correlates with my life like being like when i was younger just my mom washing the windows and everything like this is going to definitely be a, a an empowerment kind of feeling you know what i mean so um i can't wait for everybody to see it because it, it, it gave me chills watching it like okay oh my and gosh I, and, it's, and it's like even i was in there rapping like i don't even rap <laughs> <laughs> so it's like okay like especially when they first told me i had to rap i'm like Dang, i don't know about this i don't know about this because like i'm not huge on that i love music but i'm not huge on that but man once i Welcome to that room. It was it was a, it was a vibe. It was definitely a different mm -hmm. vibe to where okay, you want to do these things. You want to push yourself to do whatever, and that's what this movie is gonna do for sure. Well, hey, next thing you know, maybe a new album, rapping on the album. Hey, who knows? <laughs> hey, hey, I ain't gonna put it. I ain't gonna put it past me. We gonna see. <laughs> right, right. We gonna see for sure. <laughs> well, and so you mentioned before that this film, you know, is about overcoming obstacles. Um, I know you have an IG show called Be Great. And I wanna I wanna ask you for people who are trying to get in this industry and they're they're trying so hard and they're trying to, you know, be great like you, what is some advice that you would give them? Um, be as authentic as you can. Whatever you are, however you are as a person, continue to be that throughout the whole, throughout your whole journey because 
the industry can 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 definitely chew you up in an instant, depending on depending on how you are, depending on your support system, depending on who's around you. Like every step of the way, I've kept my family with me the whole time. Like I bought a house and, and we're all out here in LA. And I have to say, without my family, I don't even know where I would be right now. <laughs> like I probably would be out of control, like not super crazy, but you know what I mean? As far as just them keeping me grounded, them keeping me humble, you know what I mean? Just stay level-headed and, and however far you make it, man, just be super authentic. Be be yourself. Try not to let anybody tell you anything, and, and that's why I go be great. You know what I mean? That's that's just the motto. That's what it's been since I was young, and it's not like a it's not like something that I just said one day. Oh, be great! It, it really just got to be in you, honestly. Like once it's, I was kind of born into it. You know what I mean? That's my my dad was a hardworking man. Um, worked every day. He was working out every day. This man was motivating the whole family to get up and do something. So, um, yeah, um, like I said. If you want to get into this industry, just kind of be yourself, man. Be and and, and just have a, a, a steady support system that's with you the whole way. Like it can't mine can't get no religion. Like my mom was my manner. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So the whole way through it's just been me and my family, man. So we've been we've been here for a while and it's it's definitely paid off. So yeah. I love that. And I, I definitely get that vibe from you that you're just very authentic. I definitely feel that you're like really down to earth. So you know, like I said before, man, the sky is the limit for you. But for we're sure. gonna play this. Uh, we're gonna play this quick game. It's called Rapid Fire Questions. I'm gonna okay. uh, read you a list of questions. Got to answer okay. quick. These are the same questions that you were asked the last time you were here. So you ready? I think so. All right, let's <laughs> do it. Favorite okay. rap artist or singer? Migos, one hundred percent. All right. What do you like to do in your spare time when you're not dancing? Um. Uh. Uh, damn. Uh, I love playing football. I love skating, and I love watching YouTube. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, favorite food to binge eat? I don't know. My favorite food <laughs> to binge? I have no idea. Like, nothing's in my head right now. I have no idea. I mean, I love popsicles. Like, I just love, like, I'm a big ice cream and popsicle fan, so. Okay. I'll say that. I don't know if I said that last time. <laughs> right now. All right. All right. No, we'll take that. We'll take that. <laughs> all right. And last question. Who would you like to work with that you have never worked with before? Oh, that's the question that irritates me. It's like, dang, I worked with There's so many. There's so people. many. It's like, <laughs> I, I don't even know now. Like, I've had the honor to work with everybody that I've ever wanted to, like, honestly. Like, so it's like this this question always stops me at. Um, I'm gonna okay. say okay. I'm gonna no, say that's fine. I'm gonna say who do I want to work with? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. That's up in that the air. That just right means now. that you have so many people in your head that you just want to work with all of them. That's a fact. We're gonna go with that because I have right? <laughs> I exactly, have. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, Kita, thank you so much for coming on, talking with me. It was such a pleasure meeting you. I am excited for uh, Howard High to come on February 4th. You guys go watch it. It looks amazing. Um, any final words for your fans? Um, man, appreciate you guys. Appreciate all the love you guys have been giving me continuously for so long, 15 plus years to be exact. Um, uh, stay tuned. Howard High to movie this Friday, February 4th. Let's go. Awesome. Up. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> and where can, uh, where can your fans find you on social media? Um, okay, Instagram, Kita the Great, K I D A T H E G R E A T. YouTube is Kita the Great with each space. Um, TikTok is Kita the Great Official. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you again, man. And I am Benny Adams with Hollywood Junkie. You guys can find me on all social media at Benny J Adams. Remember to go and watch Howard High on Tubi February 4th. It is so good. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. And I will see you guys later. All right, so Kita, um, what's your favorite food in this whole wide world that you love to binge eat? Um, I like fettuccine and spaghetti. Fettuccine. You know what? This guy has exquisite taste. I was going to say pizza. That's my favorite food. And you know what? I'm pretty sure we're going to see this guy around. You want to say goodbye to him, Kita? Peace out, guys.